1.3 million in 20 days, and you just you just understand? The future's expensive. We knew that. Joe wants people to be excited about the project they all have to embark upon and succeed at, otherwise they all go home. It's a tough sell. Hey, look at this, look at this. Three four-layer PCBs, that's the new norm. Our PC's aiming for 12. What's taking so long? Bosworth is in a place of cynicism with the computer. If Joe fails, then maybe he can get things back to the way they were. The checks you're writing are making innovation happen. Tell me that's not beautiful, that you don't feel the excitement. It's like someone has slept with Bosworth's wife, and this is his company. And he's taking it very personally. It's difficult to believe in something when your knowledge is so limited. Tomorrow, a reporter from the Wall Street Quarterly is coming to do a story on us. He wants everyone to really feel like they are all a big part of the team that is making this machine awesome. We're hitting the radar, people. I mean, really cooking with gas. So it's only appropriate. It's all about his perception and encouraging the rest of the world to perceive things the way he does. Oh, that's what I call cooking the books. <laughs> He wants people to start talking about their machine and taking their machine seriously. He wants his picture in that magazine. If you're not in the magazine, you don't matter. He wants to matter. Ron, please, please, just meet some of our people. Get their stories. There's an underdog angle here I guarantee you'll find interesting. Whether Kane writes a good article about them or a bad article. Fine, 15 minutes. Great, it doesn't matter. He just wants to be on the map. What happened? It's gone. All my code is. The only thing of value in her life was this project, and it's gone, and she loses any sense of self and belonging. You put your backups next to your speakers, and then you blast music? The bios going under, I think, really scares him. For Gordon, it's kind of like, you're getting in the way of my dreams. Good God, Cameron, why did you right. this little back and take this? And it's the fault of the one person that he said wouldn't be able to deliver. Who the hell is this? Ron Kane, Wall Street Quarterly. Donna. I don't think Gordon as a man thinks anything about going to his wife for help. I need you to come to Cardiff. I think he's thinking very short term and taking Donna and their relationship and his responsibilities in it for granted. I make your world Mommy, possible. That's awesome. It's okay. She's got to help recover that BIOS. I think their financial future rests on the success of this computer product. Why don't you come back next week? I'm not leaving till I get this in all its gory glory. Let me stay. Maybe I get the full story, good with the bad. When Donna shows up after the BIOS is lost, this is a nightmare for Joe. This is your data retrieval expert. Hello to you, too. He's able to manage everything in this building right now, but he can't manage Gordon's wife. I don't want your wife at the office. He's really confused as to why Joe even cares. This is a crisis. Without Donna, this thing stays dead on the table, Joe. She is our only option. <sighs> we got it. Oh. <gasps> she didn't do it to have recognition. And, uh, and you are? This is uh, Susan Fairchild. But I think it rubs you the wrong way. Thanks, Susan. Uh, nice work. You engineered this. Joe has no remorse over what he did to Cameron. This is all part of the plan. All of this for a little publicity? At least to write something. We needed press about us. We've got it. If you're smart, you won't tell anyone. Not even Gordon. Bosworth has some old friends in town. Sometimes he needs a favor. And he sends Joe a message in the only way that he can. Whoa, whoa. It's a wake-up call for him. Bosworth is formidable and dangerous. Bosworth is showing himself to be a desperate man pulling a stunt like this. Joe fried Cameron's hard drive to try and get that reporter to write about you guys. He has to know. The BIOS was never lost. So that he can operate with the correct amount of caution in his dealings with Joe McMillan in the future. Gordon, this is your partner in this whole thing. She sees in Gordon's eyes that he's really quite interested in Joe's tactics. Is the reporter going to write the story? Gordon's reaction is not fury and outrage, but did it work? That sends the biggest chill down her spine. 
What? It was a close call yesterday. Yep. If it hadn't been for Donna, who knows where we'd be.